Trapper State is grappling with a hoarsening crisis of human trafficking and gender-based violence. Reports indicate that youth are being exploited for labor, sexual purposes and even organ harvesting. This year's World Day Against Human Trafficking has the theme Leave No Child Behind in the Fight Against Human Trafficking. To mark the occasion, the reintegration organized a road walk from Sania Bacha Secretariat Junction to the Jalingomen Motor Park. In her address, Commissioner for the Ministry of Social Justice and Reintegration, Dr. Felicity Rairama Musa emphasized the government's unwavering commitment to eradicating human trafficking, which has had a profound impact across several local governments in the state. Under the leadership of Dr. Abu Kefas, our working governor, I am committed to the fight against human trafficking in Taraba State. As a government, we recognize that trafficking in persons is a gross violation of human rights that dehumanizes its victims and destroys their future and that of our society. It is in, on record that Taraba State has tragically become a center for human trafficking. Our youth are being exploited daily for labor, sexual purposes, and even organ harvesting at an alarming rate. As a government, we are unwavering in our determination to combat this evil practice through law enforcement awareness creation and victim-centered interventions. The chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association's Tarabo State Chapter, Mertens Milkman, cautioned the public about the severe consequences of human trafficking. He reassured the public that the government will take decisive action against perpetrators. Mickman also encouraged parents to enroll their children in the government's free education program as a preventive measure. Similarly, Mrs. Sarah E.B., the coordinator of NAPTIP's North S Zone, warned parents on the risks of entrusting their children to unknown individuals including the dangers of organ harvesting, slavery and involvement in antisocial activities. One of the cardinal issues that the NBA stand out to partner with uh, issue of human trafficking, you know, it's a criminal offense, and of course, since we are talking about something that is criminal, that is our jurisdiction. So the program is uh, is nice, is good, and is strategically placed because the motor park is one of the places that has a significant role in dealing with issues of this nature. Children are vulnerable. They are most exploited. Advantage is taken of children who have come from poor settings, from widows, those who are orphans. And sometimes even the wealthy are not left out. You see the level of kidnapping now. You see by observing the World Day Against Human Trafficking, Taraba State is demonstrating its resolute commitment to eradicating this grave crime.